Hello, so today in this video I will discuss about regarding the during the uploading of the file using the PHP uh, what are the constraints we have to see and uh, another things so again I will discuss about whenever you want to read the file and thereby write the files what are the methods is available in the PHP so first we will start from the regarding the file array so generally what happened the file array is associated area and it contains item that had been uploaded in the current request and the server script must process the upload file in the some way so dollar underscore file that is the array helps in this process and dollar underscore files array will contain a key value pair for each file uploading in the post and file first a refresh to html for for the uploading the files whenever you are uploading the file first we have to refresh the html forms to upload the files Whenever you are uploading the file using the HTML, so we have to keep the few points in your mind. So first things, you must, you have to use the post method. What we have to use, we have to use the post method. Method post and get is there, so there the, the method should be the post. Another things along with the form tag, you are writing there in the form name, action equal to something and method equal to post. So there only we have to add, whenever you are uploading the file, this point keep in your mind, we have to add enc type encryption type equal to double quote multi part slash form hyphen data what we have to write enc type equal to multi part slash form hyphen data inside the double quote this attribute to the html form that is performing to upload the html request okay and another things input type equal to text input type equal to name input type equal to text input type equal to number input type equal to email like that one is there same way whenever you are uploading the file we should write the input type equal to file so you see in this example file enc type equal to multi part slash form open data is there method equal to post and input type equal to file that should be there and another thing is again optional name of name of the name equal to file one id equal to file one and submit whatever you want but these three things we have to keep in your mind one thing is that you have to use the post method another things enc type multi part slash form hyphen data we have to add and third one input type equal to files should be there whenever you are uploading the file using the php the generally the person is doing the mistake they are missing the enc type equal to multi part slash form hyphen data then you cannot upload the file using the php and html Whenever you are uploading the files, what happened, the, we have to handle the file upload in PHP. So in that time, the dollar underscore files array will contain a key value pair for each file uploading in the post. And key for each element will be the name attributes from the HTML form. And while the value will be an array containing the information about the file as well as the file itself. And key in that array are the name type tmp underscore name error and size so these are the key of the array are the name type tmp name temporary name error and size you see here again here whenever you are using the multi part again the slash form data so you see here encrypted format again all of the data are there and after that the last part you see whenever you are writing the input type equal to file we get a browse kind of the button also Okay, that is happening input type equal to file. No need to create again any kind of button for the browser, nothing else. Once you are writing the input type equal to file, one text box will come and along with the text box, browse button will be there. Once you can click the browse, the browse after the browsing, the file entire path is available in the text box. This is happening due to the input type equal to file again. And after that, based upon the name, you can use the uh, dollar underscore files file one. What is the file one here? That is the input type equal to file and name equal to file one and then name is the again the one of the again the parameters type is again tmp underscore file is again error is again and size is again okay so once you can see in the hierarchy order first html client they are browsing the file then they are requesting the http request and the php server is handling the, all of this information so here again the we keep in your mind name name is just containing the full file name used to the client machine including any file extension 
type type define the mim type of the file tmp underscore name that is the full path to the location of your server where the file is being the temporary stored and error is anti integers that encoded many possible error and is said to be the upload underscore error underscore ok integer value 0 if the value was uploaded successfully and size is again the integers represent the size in the bytes of the uploaded file here keep in your mind size is always in the bytes only so checking the error purpose for every uploaded file there is an error value associated with it in the dollar underscore file array and the value for the successful uploaded in the upload error underscore ok should be looked for the before proceeding any other further right you see here dollar underscore file array errors equal to not equal to uh, not equal to upload underscore error ok then only we have to go for the another part otherwise else we can go for the uploaded successfully Generally, uh, the file size instruction is very very important for any server. You cannot upload the big big file. Okay, for the web server, the by default the file size is the only the two MB file you can upload. Clear? Same way, live server again the different different again the size of the server again the five MB, twenty MB like that one extension is there. But as per my knowledge, hundred MB maximum file we can upload. Otherwise, we have to apply for the different kind of the techniques. So checking the Mac, I mean the size of the file, you have a three option. One option we can see the HTML using the HTML in the input form only. Another is with the help of the JavaScript we can check. Another is again with the help of the PHP coding also you can see. These are the three ways we can check the file size. So regarding the HTML, very simple way is that you can take the input type equal to hidden again. And there again, uh, name you can put the max underscore file underscore size and value you can put again the 1000. Value you can put again the 1000. So the file uploading must be completed before the error message can be received. But that is not that much of the efficient. So better you can use the JavaScript other by the PHP. So in the JavaScript, again file dot size. Uh, file dot files means the file is again the maximum uh, what is called again the document get get 11 by id you can fix the, again the maximum file size then again you can uh, files dot size again the some method is there from that size you can check again the condition how much bytes you want okay so these are the things for the javascript i like again the php php is again you can fix the size and the size size itself only the one of the uh, one of the again the uh, parameters is there for the uploading the file time with the help of this parameter you can check the size and whatever the limitation threshold value if you are putting with the help of that value only you can check the size of the file same way you can examine the type of the file which type suppose that only the jpg file other by doc file png file pdf file word file that also you can with the help of the type field we can check the type of the file again you see here again so here again the here again the, there are the two options one options you can again the fetch the value name uh, file name and from the file name you can explode again the last again the uh, after the extension the file type okay take example image file the name is coming something dot jpg so last three digits is the jpg that you can extract and then again you can check the extension of the file if that extension is the jpg is there or not png is there or not then using the if condition you can check the again the all of the file type so these things again i will show you the one demo then only you will get a proper idea this time only you keep all of this information in the mind same way after that again we have to move the file for that purpose we have to use the move underscore uploaded underscore file okay so that takes the temporary file location and file final destination also so you see here again we already fixed the one of the destination destination again the one folder name is there and then again the file name is there so once you are writing here again the move underscore uploaded underscore file then there are the two parameters first parameter is called what file file name okay that is the temporary name and second parameter is the destination where you want to store that information okay so here red color you see move underscore file upload underscore file dollar files to move comma the dollar destinations so with the help of this one you can move the file in the temporary location as well as the final destination also now coming back to the regarding the reading and writing the files uh, there are two basic techniques 
for the read and the writing the files in the PHP. One is called the stream access, another is called all in memory access. So stream access, what is happening in these techniques, our code will read just a small portion of the file at a time. And while this does require more careful programming, it is the most memory efficient approach when reading very large file. Yes, regarding the all in memory access, in these techniques, we can read the entire file into the memory and while not appropriate for the large file, it does make processing of the file extremely easy. And uh, next one is stream access, C style file access more difficult but more memory efficient. The here again the, you have a function f open, f read, f gets and one more is there f close, f writes. So all together here again you have a stream access purpose, access purpose in the file in the PHP app read app gets app close f open f write. So function f open takes a file location or URL to access mode as a parameters and return value is a stream resource which can then read sequentially. Same way app read or app gets both are almost same only to read the ahead in the file and app close whenever your work is done you can close and the writing is the writing done is the f write and here one more thing is there again the file handling modes are there uh, r r plus w w plus and a so r means only reading purpose r me r plus means read and write like a c only w means write w plus read and write and a for append in the file append I mean extra things you can add in the current file existing file okay so you see the very simple example here first we have to open the file so f open sample.txt that is the file name and i just now i told now we have to discuss we should know the, again the which mode you are opening so this they open for the read mode only r mode then inside the while loop you can get the, all of the contents of the file go for the end of the line again and then you can print the, all of the information finally you have to close the file but in memory file access, there are the three things is very very important. This is again very very important. One is called the file, file underscore get underscore contents. File, one is first is the file, second one file underscore get underscore contents and the next one is the file underscore put dot contents. Okay, so file what is happening? File read the entire file into an array with each array element corresponding to one line in that field. File underscore get underscore contents read the entire file into a single string variables and file underscore put underscore contents that write the content of the string value variable out to the file. Clear? In memory file access again to read the entire file into a variable you can simply use uh, again the file underscore get underscore contents and you can give the file name. And to write the contents, to write the contents of the string okay then we have to write again the file underscore put underscore contents but here we have to write again the file name and then the dollar write name to a file which file you want to write okay from here to here we have to write in the so that information we have to add here okay so i think in this one we got some brief idea during the file uploading in the php and reading and the writing what are the things is the important in the php so next video again I will discuss about the demo for this one's whenever uploading how to upload again the complete code descriptions I will discuss in the, my next video. Okay, so thanks for your presence.